out. But I mean, there, there, this is not a sci politics is not a scientific process. You know, it's an emotional process. And public relations is all about, you know, finding out what people's predispositions are and giving them an excuse to go there. So. Uh, in that kind of case, it's very easy to, like, you know, in the old cop show, to be the person running, the burglar running down the street, like, strewing trash cans behind yourself that, you know, to slow down the, the police. Because, you know, it's, it's all about just not ever getting caught, you know. You don't have to improve. You don't have to change anything you're doing. You're just trying to, like, keep things the way they are. Now, uh, some people are tying this into other conspiracy theories, right? Uh, climate change in general, this climate change, climate gate thing specifically. Um, for example, uh, I've seen some people, including Alex Jones, talking about how they're going to use this climate change issue to institute a world government. And that this is something that they're going to start in Copenhagen, and uh, and basically that that will take away the the power of individual governments and and create a world government that will police and tax everyone based on climate issues, but then go on to take over the world, right? And uh, I just think it's interesting how these different conspiracy theories seem to sort of fit in, in a way, with certain agendas, like stopping uh, climate change legislation or, or ways to deal with climate change, you know? And it's not just that. You see it everywhere. Like, uh, I've seen some people starting to... They, they took a, a little clause out of the, uh, out of the healthcare bill, bill and I will... Uh, uh, stick it in here afterwards because I don't remember exactly what it says, but the wording mentions implants and because the wording mentions implants, which what they want to do is create a registry of everybody who has uh, implants because there are some issues with like pacemakers and they want to study their effectiveness and whether they're being used when they need to be used and whether they're as safe as they should be and effective as they should be, right? But it says a registry of class three devices, including implants. And they're like, oh, there it is. There's the devil mark, 666, the implant that they're going to put in people. There it is. In the legislation, they're going to put implants in you, right? And, uh, and, and I just, I don't, I know that, you know, in most cases it's a coincidence and I, and, I know that, you know, some of the people who are coming up with this, these conspiracy theories are sort of conservative leaning or even just against whichever government is in power in general, right? Which is fine. We do need to be, uh, definitely need to be uh, careful of whoever's in power, right? But it, it just feels like, uh, I don't know, like, like they're, it's just another way they're trying to get to people to uh, get them to sort of side with an agenda that doesn't that isn't convenient for them, you know, that isn't good for them. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, when I think about this and the po the possibility that um, you know we might have to deal with this on on a global level, I don't know. I wonder when it, that would become apparent. And whether that would become an acceptable idea. I mean, if the if the scientists are to believe that'll be some time after we can do anything about it. But I often find myself wondering, what would it take to kind of make everybody feel like we were in this together and this was a real problem? What what would make it believable, like kind of incontrovertibly? Where where is people's threshold? I really have no idea about that. And like I said, I'm not terribly optimistic that it's anything that we're going to reach before it's too late to do anything about it. Well, Katrina didn't do it. But I'm kind of curious. I mean, if you know, for people who are watching at this point, I mean, and congratulations if you're still watching. By the way, that's awesome. 
when would you think that it would be okay or even necessary to like have world government to address a problem? I mean, is it when it only when it comes to your doorstep the problem, or is there something else that could that that could move you to think that that was necessary? Because I mean, it, it's something that I think we may face as as you know humanity to say, do we are we willing to submit to this in order to survive? I know that's a weird thing to think about and probably something that'll probably creep a lot of people out. But Yeah, but the world government wants to kill us, so what does that have to do with survival? I, I I'm I, but I'm not I'm not thinking about the Alex Jones scenario. I'm thinking about No, I I know. Yeah, well, I mean people's fear of it aside, you know, I guess I asked this in a video once a long time ago, and it was targeted more at a specific person, an anarchist friend of mine. But I still wonder about this. I mean, what is the threshold? At what point do are we okay with surrendering some of what we have to continue to survive? Because, I mean, since I, I really think the future is about what we're willing to give up, then I I think it's a it's a valid question to ask. I mean, not just on a personal level, but on a societal level. What are you willing to give up to ensure the survival of humanity? Okay, so is that coming out in favor of uh, world government here? <laughs> Showing our true colors on Take Back Talking Points. That's right. Anybody who thought that I was okay, they know I'm the new Hitler now. No, but, you know, I, I, I can't even really imagine a, a world government, you know? I mean, I don't know. I mean, how can there be... I can only manage it. I can only imagine it coming into, into uh, existence in response to some huge global crisis. But I'm, I'm just saying that I'm open to the idea that there could be a huge global crisis. And so I, I'm, I'm wondering... What what would people think of as like a a big enough huge global crisis where they would say you know what I want and what my ideas for for how the world should work don't matter as much as all of us getting through this in whatever shit shape we can. I mean I, I think that you could actually argue that we're in one or two or three huge global crises at the moment, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Well, right, but I mean, uh, but uh, but that we're we're not tripping the threshold either. So I mean, I I guess I'm wondering what is it? What gets our attention anymore? You know, and and is is it a functional response anymore? In other words, can we go past the point of no return? as a people just because we're not equipped really to see it uh zombies i think is what it would take <laughs> i hope not